Hi, my name is Hayley Quinn and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this series of videos, it's my Ask Hayley section, so you have the ability to ask me all of your questions about dating, sex and relationships. You can find me on Twitter, at Hayley Quinn, or on Instagram, at Hayley Quinn X. Tweet me, like this thing, comment on a status, and I will find your questions and I will get back to you. Um, the questions that I'm answering this week, are gonna, I'm going to read them out and then I'm going to give you my advice and my comments about the right way forward. I'm going on a first date with a girl I really like. What makes this first date unique is that I already know the girl quite well, know what she likes, she likes me, she told me when we were kissing, well hey, and have already kissed her. Um, my question to you is, how to treat this first date, what kind of approach should I adopt? Because all the do's and don'ts, this is quite unique. I have a dinner planned at a nice restaurant and drinks in a cool bar after. Any advice would be greatly appreciated. I have to say, this sounds like it's going pretty well. Um, I think you're asking me for um, advice on how to play this one differently just because you really like her and you think she's cool. What you have, well, everything about this though is sounding good. You've put thought and effort into planning the date, so you've chosen something that feels really quite romantic and that can't be misconstrued as friends hanging out. You've got two date locations, so you're going to go for a dinner and then a drink. Often if you have multiple locations that you visit on one date, a person will feel especially connected to you. Um, following that, the next thing that you can look at and that you can think about doing is you said that you've already kissed the girl as well, so the chances of physical contact are pretty good. So everything is seeming okay. I think the only thing that you actually have to be aware of is not putting her on too much of a pedestal or on treating this date any differently. Instead, you need to relax and you need to be in the present moment because the thing that will make a date great more than any dinner or any, well, I don't know, the kissing is nice as well, but the thing that will make it really awesome is if she stood there in front of you and she feels really understood and that you have a great interaction. So instead of thinking about how to impress her or how to do all this stuff, it's so much better that you relax and that you listen to her you respond and you say what you think and feel truly. It might even help you to say, make an acknowledgement like, it was really funny I planned to go on this date with you because I already feel like I know you so well. So it's a very strange but awesome first date to be on. By making an admission about your emotional position and showing some vulnerability, often this is going to really, really help you in order to be able to connect with her and give her that date experience. So remember just to relax, don't overly perform, don't treat her any differently to anyone else, focus on listening to her and communicating where you're at and you're not gonna go far wrong. New question, I'm single living at home. I've had trouble finding a job I like and sticking to it, but if that hasn't worked, I've decided to start my own business. I've tried a few times, but I think I may be only to give it a go this time. My only concern is I do not have a stable income is having a girlfriend as I find it hard to find the confidence as I'm very much a give it everything or do not bother type of person in terms of what I want to achieve. What should I do and how do I have sex? Uh, and P.S. I have a high libido, do not know what to do attempting to solve this problem. Okay, so there's a lot of things that are going into this question. Um, what's important to acknowledge here is when it comes to building relationships with people, and I mean like long-term things, what you're going to find is with um, with relationships, the more sort of sorted you are in your life, kind of it does help you to become a better partner and choose better people. It doesn't mean that it can't work out if you're in a different stage in your life, but doing things like having a stable job or running a business will give you that stability where you'll be able to feel that you can really invest in a relationship, make good decisions and build something. So maybe now you're communicating to me that because of your wider life circumstances, you can only really offer a woman something that's quite casual because you haven't sorted the rest of your life out yet. Now that is okay, and in fact there might be a bunch of women over there who haven't sorted their lives out and are looking for something more casual too. So the important thing is when you meet someone is to take it slow and to acknowledge right from the start where you are. Say, look, my focus is on building my business right now, so I wanna be completely upfront with you because I respect you that this is, what, this is what I have to offer you. Now, I, I think you're really sexy, so I'd love to continue getting to know you, but I wanted to be upfront about where I'm at. A lot of the time, if you make a disclosure like that, it's not gonna ruin your chances with the women you meet. In fact, they'll respect you more because they don't have to second guess where you're coming from, which can often create a lot of anxiety. Instead, they will understand that primarily your focus is with your life and your business. You're just looking for a more casual relationship and then that gives them the freedom to choose what kind of relationship they want to participate in with you. 
So I think you're right. Sort life out first is always a good solution. Secondly, be honest with the women that you're meeting about what you can offer them. And thirdly, if they're in agreement, you should be able to have some pretty awesome relationships. Okay, so I've been Hayley Quinn. Thank you again for listening to my videos, for sending your questions in. I do actually feel quite honoured and quite flattered that you're looking to advice from me and to work with me. If you want to hit me up with those questions, you can find me on Twitter at Hayley Quinn or on Instagram at Hayley Quinn X. Tweet me, comment on something, like something so that I know that you're there. And then I will do my best to get back to every single one of these questions that get sent in. And I'll be back again next week with another advice video.